This is our high fidelity trauma mannequin. It's used in our EMT programs, also the paramedic programs for high fidelity simulations. We're gonna go over a few of the features that it offers, starting at the top. It has pupillary response. So when the light shone into the eyes, it'll actually constrict. You can also dilate as well if we program it to. Also on the side of the eyes, there's ports that once we induct fluid into it, will actually cry depending on the, the scenario. Working our way over to the ears, we can represent CSF by the mannequin producing fluid from the ear canals. To the nose, NPAs can be inserted in either side. Moving over to the mouth, uh, OPAs can be inserted. It can represent tongue edema, can be fully intubated. Working our way down, can be surgically criped. Going to the chest cavity, has bilateral working lungs with appropriate lung sounds. You can also be needle decompressed on both sides in both points. The mannequin will actually give us a recognition when the student's in the proper place. Using these pads and normal EKG pads can be placed on a four lead monitor. Bowel and abdominal sounds as well. Moving to the arms, on the normal arm, there is a spot for IVs. Once we induct fluid or blood into the IV catheters, the students will actually get a flashback into a catheter. This side represents the blood pressure module. So using this speaker, once the mannequin senses the pressure is appropriate, it'll actually give the student a audio feedback to get blood pressures. IVs can also be done on this side as well. Part of the trauma portions of it, it does have the normal side of the arm. What we can also do is add amputation parts. It's kind of hard to see, but on the ends here, there's actually ports that once we fill the mannequin with blood, we can have it be a severe hemorrhage. And then up here on any of the extremities that have any part of an amputated part, that is a pressure sensor. So once a student has put the tourniquet on, the bleeding from the distal arm will not stop until the student has applied the appropriate amount of pressure to that tourniquet. What we can also do is even if they apply the tourniquet correctly, maybe during transport it moves on them, we can change the parameters on it so that now the student has to reevaluate the injury site and then maybe add an additional tourniquet or fix the initial one. Other trauma injuries that it has, it has an axillary bleed on bilateral arms. So again, there's a ports in here that can induct bleeding. There's pressure sensors underneath them to make sure the students are getting the proper amount of pressure to stop the bleed once it's secured. <clears throat> there's also groin bleeds. On both sides, just like the axillary ones, ports in here that'll actually cause it to bleed depending on the pressures. The normal leg, working our way down, does have pulse points behind the, the knee as well. There's a spot for IO insertion. Fluid can be inducted through these as well. And on the amputation part, just like the upper arm, there's one for the leg will bleed until the pressure sensor on the back of this leg here is to the proper portion. Once it's there, the bleeding will stop from here. So as you can see, it's a very high fidelity mannequin. Uh, it's used in both programs. Uh, we use them a lot. Students get a better representation of how to treat a patient in the field. Um, so yeah, there's our tra high fidelity trauma mannequin. Here we have our high fidelity newborn mannequin used in both EMT programs, also paramedic. We started using this mannequin during their pediatric modules to represent their pediatric assessment triangle. Some of the features that it has, it does have active movement in the extremities. It can also represent pediatric procedures. This mannequin will actually seize. Turning at the top, can be orally intubated. 
Also, if we want to represent any cyanosis, these blue lights will turn on in the face to represent cyanosis. Going down the chest, bilateral working lung sounds on both sides. Using these pads can be placed on a four lead EKG. Also can be put on cardiac defibrillation pads. It does have a spot for the umbilical cord. You can actually pulsate once you put the attachment on. IVs can be placed in bilateral arms. Going down to the legs, it does have actual spots for pediatric IOs. When they're also learning the pediatric assessment triangle, we can also have the mannequin cry. So another high fidelity mannequin that we have here, uh, it's all used using this program. The instructor can monitor the student's progress throughout it, monitor good points, bad points, improvements, and then at the end of the simulation, the student is able to review the scenario, go over it with the instructor, and then improve from there. Here we have our high fidelity birthing mannequin. It's by far our most popular mannequin and also the most widely used throughout both the EMT and paramedic programs. Features that it has starting at the top. Pupillary response will constrict if light is shown, will dilate as well. Nasal passages, MPA insertions, OPA insertions into the mouth can be fully intubated. Going down to the chest, bilateral working lung sounds. Using these ports, can be placed on a four lead EKG. Also cardiac pads can be placed as well. This mannequin does have a full array of pre-recorded sounds, words, and phrases that will be said throughout the scenario. We can also use a microphone with the instructor being in a different room and the instructor can act as the patient. Going down to the arms, blood pressures can be done with blood pressure sensors located in bilateral upper arms. Radial pulse points can be found on both sides. IVs can be also placed in both arms. The main portion of this mannequin is the actual abdomen itself. We have multiple abdominal insertions. Um, obviously right here is the cephalic delivery abdominal wall. Uh, we do have a normal one that can be placed if we're just running a normal uh, female simulation. Underneath here is where the actual birthing mannequin is placed and the piston is located of how the mannequin is actually birthed. With this abdominal case. It actually has points to where the students can actually feel the area of the fundus. On this one it's located a little bit lower to represent post-delivery, to represent fundal massages so we can work on the students practicing fundal massages. The inner workings of the mannequin. There's the working piston itself. So the birthing mannequin is placed into the birth canal here. It uses a piston and a piston rod that will give contractions over a certain amount of time. We could do very quick deliveries. We can have deliveries go up to an hour, if not longer, depending on the scenario. What we do as well is we induct fluid into the mannequin so that during the delivery, we can represent normal discharges from the actual birth. Also, we can fill it with more blood to represent a postpartum hemorrhage. With the birth canal here, it can do normal cephalic deliveries, it can do breech deliveries, we can do nuchal cords, 
uh, limb presentations, any presentation that a student's going to see in the field, we can represent using uh, this mannequin. The umbilical cord is also attached. Will be attached to the birthing mannequin as well. Once the baby is delivered, this is another high fidelity mannequin. We pre-program this mannequin for that once it's actually delivered, it will run a simulation. With the mannequin doing this, the students are able to get their APGAR scales both right after delivery and then five minutes. Working their way through the delivery as well, at a certain point, we will actually have the placenta be delivered. So the students get a good representation of what it looks like. Also what we can do is we can move or remove portions of the placenta. So this is where we represent to the students that the placenta must always be transported with the patient and inspected just to make sure all of the placenta has been fully delivered. So again, another high fidelity mannequin. This is our birthing mannequin. By far the most used mannequin uh, throughout all of the programs. Students get a very good representation of field deliveries uh, to prepare them for actual deliveries out there in the field.